For years, Cheapside Park in downtown Lexington has been a controversial spot. That is because before the Civil War, Cheapside was the center of slave trading in Kentucky. And for years, activist group Take Back Cheapside has been working with city leaders to transform the space to make it more inclusive. And this morning, we learn a change in the space's name is one step further along. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky joins us from the park with details. It's our big story today at noon. This is the space in downtown Lexington next to the old courthouse that's been known as Cheapside Park. This morning we learned that the city's Parks Advisory Board unanimously approved changing the name to Henry A. Tandy Centennial Park. Henry Tandy was a freed slave who moved to Lexington from Estill County in 1865 and worked in construction on many buildings, some of which still stand today. He joined Alfred Byrd and formed a masonry contracting company called Tandy and Byrd. His company's most notable project was the historic 1899 courthouse in which he said more than 1.5 million bricks were laid. Even after the courthouse's renovation in 2018, some of those bricks still remain. Tandy was also admired for his leadership roles in the community, including being a founding member and trustee of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Lexington. Co-founder of the activist group Take Back Cheapside that's been instrumental of the removal of Confederate statues in the park, and now in the name change said choosing Henry Tandy, a local Lexingtonian, in the renaming of the park was important. As far as Henry Tandy is, of course, he's a black Lexingtonian. And I think um, conversations that, that were had just talking about what type of uh, cities do we see or do we see cities that um, honor black folks from where they are. Uh, you know, a lot of times you see folks want to honor Martin Luther King, of course, uh, on every street and now Barack Obama as well. And there's things like that. And, and while they're great figures, uh, of course, like there's so many figures within our city that are just as deserving. Now, the name change is not yet official. It will be heard in front of the Lexington Urban City Council mid next month. If it is approved, it will join nine other Lexington parks who have been named after prominent African-Americans. We'll have much more on this story coming up later on LEX 18. Back to you.